Okay, welcome back. Today I finally have got the correct part to replace our window regulator. I was very fortunate in the fact that my O'Reilly Auto Parts uh, stores here in Phoenix actually had both sides for the front window regulators in their distribution center in Phoenix. So I made a call to my local store here in North Phoenix and they were able to get one shipped out from the distribution center overnight. And it was there at 8 a.m. this morning. So again, wasn't that hard to find Land Rover parts? Uh, you know, I'd always heard horror stories, but I mean like a window regulator, that's kind of something that's fairly vehicle specific. And I wouldn't imagine would be uh, something everybody keep on hand for an old rig like this, but uh, we were very fortunate. So. I'm going to get started on it. Um, I think we're going to talk about The first step is to remove the inside door panel. To do this, you must first remove the two bolts underneath the grab handle and take the grab handle off. Then remove the screws securing the door latch bezel to the door. The bezel will slide right out once it's been removed. Next, you'll remove the door skin by popping it free from the plastic grommets holding it to the door frame. Be careful as you'll need to disconnect the two wires in the back of the door speaker before you go too far with the skin. Next, you'll have to deal with detaching the vapor barrier from the inside face of the door. It looks like originally ours was held on with some sort of high tack, but it appears someone later on went inside the door and used silicone or RTV to seal the barrier back up, which left everything it touched stained black and sticky. Make sure the window is in the full upright position. Then secure it by using some tape to strap over the top of the door frame. Next, disconnect the wiring harness from the window motor. Sorry, I didn't film this part better, but there is a great illustration of it on page 847 of the Rave Manual. You'll also need to unclip some of the wiring to allow for movement. In our case, the clips were long gone and supplemented with zip ties that had to be cut. Next, remove the four window regulator retaining screws and shake-proof washers from the inner door panel. Then remove the two screws and shake-proof washers retaining the lower window lift channel and slide the channel off the stud. Finally, maneuver the window regulator and remove it from the lower center opening in the inner door panel. For the electric motor, you're going to need a T30 Torx bit to get this motor off and onto the next one. So, follow along at home. Okay, so that's popped out. Let's take that away. And we got this plastic guide right here that didn't seem to come on the corresponding piece. There's clearly a hole for it down here. So we're gonna take this one off, transpose it over here. Now, it's a real wonder to me how old Land Rovers ended up rusting so bad when like everything about them is just coated in all the oil and fluid that they leak. The leaf goes on like this. Start that screw by hand. Finish it the rest of the way. All right, I think we're making some damn progress here. Okay, now this is getting interesting. Okay, so I'm having a little trouble getting this one back together here. I'm gonna use my phone here to try to figure out what it looked like before we took it apart, which is always important. Take photos of things before you take them apart. It makes it a heck of a lot easier putting them back together. So, aha! I don't know if you can see that, but that's the orientation we're looking for with that motor. Just take it, set it in here at a little cockeye angle. You've got two dowel pins in there that look like your alignment point. Show you any other camera. So once it goes on, they just sit right down, right on those pins. And you'll feel it. There you go. Now once it's in there too, it's kind of locked in place. So it should be really easy to zip those screws back in there. So let's flip her over. Okay, now we're done. Let's go take her over and put her in the car.
Regulator. Mount up. Oh, there she went. I'd like to be able to tell you that everything just oh, bolts clearly, right oh, up clearly. purple from here, but I'd be lying to you. It's going to take some finagling to get all the pieces to fit back and line back up with their bolt holes. Just stick with it. You'll get it eventually. Also, it's good to have the appropriate pages of the rave manual printed out, just in case. Okay, we're gonna test it out, but before we do that, I wanna look in there and make sure that everything's all up to snuff. So I'm gonna have to stick my head up in here, kind of have a look-see. See if we can't figure out if it's all realigned. Let's drop the window regulator all the way down. Get her all the way down. Get it to a level where it's a little bit more manageable. And then I'll disconnect the window, I think. All right, well, we'll slide it down into here to see if uh, I can get it to reline up because you got these marks here. Makes me feel like there's something that's got to line up there. Okay, so I see a channel. Let's go ahead and let that sucker come all the way down. Okay, so now we got her down here in the bottom. You can kind of see what we're working with. You're gonna have to make these pieces connect here and here. What's interestingly enough happened one of them screws over the years has fallen out of up here, ended up in the bottom. Got the one side dropped right here. We'll just go ahead and start threading this one in. Just loose. So it's got a point to stick from. And then this one, looks like I need to come up on the window a little bit. So we'll bring the window up. Oh my gosh, there she went. Now we should be able to just line this girl up. Just tighten her up. Always check this while you're playing around here with this door frame. Make sure these wires stay out of the way. We're gonna zip tie those back up before we're done, but let's check the up down on the door right now. It appears I may have fixed it. Ding, ding. Okay, time to go get some zip ties. Okay, so you're gonna get an experience in, uh, in Hillbilly Automotive Repair because I am fresh out of the little zip ties. All I have is these big thick boys and the thick boys don't work. As you can see, they're just a little too big for that hole that we're working with. But what we do have is we have the, I should say, original duct tape, baling wire. So we're just gonna wire up some loops there and uh, twist the wire around. It should work. Um, will it be as easy to get off next time? No, you have to use a pair of side dikes probably to pull it off, but the same token, it's not going anywhere. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I should know better. But hey, in 10 or 15 years, when the aging hipsters with money have fully overinflated the prices of old off roaders from the 90s, kind of like how the baby boomers made 60s muscle cars obscenely expensive, I'll be able to get top dollar for this artisanal overlander when she rolls across the Barrett Jackson block because even my shortcutting will be period correct. 
one thing you want to do, I guess, before you seal it up though, let's make sure what we're doing works. Just observe. Does anything get hang up? Looks like we have plenty of clearance there. Everything else is moving along just fine. So I think we've caught this fix. It's just time to stitch it up. Now on the stitch up here, I got some high tack. We're gonna add that to it. Um, it's gonna just kind of make things sticky without making them messy like that black stuff. And I'm not gonna use a whole hell of a lot of it. I'm just gonna use some dabs here or there in the places that count. You can see where See where it had been stuck on before. Now I'm gonna get that door skin over here and try to pop that back in. Then it shouldn't be too hard. Just pop, 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 and then use the, uh, the screws the way it came apart. 